YouTube, thought we'd do a quick video here. Uh, this video is going to, I'm going to show you how to install free time announcement software that you can use on your GMRS two-way radio repeater. It's free software. I'll post a link down below. And I'm going to show you how to install it. It's real simple to do. The installer is in French, but the program itself is in English. So uh, don't you know be alarmed when you go install it and it's in French. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's real simple. And the program's got a lot of features in it. It also has a weather announcement in it. I have not played with that yet. But I'm just going to show you how to install this and the ins and outs of the program some of the basic functions and then you can you know go from there and play with it and get it to your liking so after you download it you're going to double click to install it like i said the installers in french not a big deal okay now it's it's wanting to let you know what directory it wants to put it in so you hit right here means okay that directory is, is not there. I'm going to say yes. Go ahead and make the directory. Does do you want to do a shortcut? Yes. Oh, this is this is the one actually for the shortcut. We check that. Hit that. Then it says installer. You can kind of read that part of it. And now it's installing it. Now we're going to launch a program. Like I said, the programs is in English. So we're going to hit that. And here is the program. It's real simple. There's some kind of cool features I want to kind of point out. There's a help file on here too. So if you, if you need help, you can click on the help file. I'll show you how to do that. Now, let's start with some of the basics here. Right here, the question mark, right here is the help file. Okay. There's a COM port setting. You can hook this up in the help file. There is a schematic diagram and how to hook this up using your COM port, your DB9 connector, and have a key up the repeater to, to play the time uh, um, announcements. Um, there's a simple schematic. It's in the help file. Uh, I think the, the, it's a transistor and a resistor or something. I can't remember what it is. But you don't have to do that to make this work. You can do it without that. But that, that option's there if you need to. Okay? Sound card, you want to leave it, let Windows choose your sound card. Now let me explain something here that's very important. If you want to use this on the same repeater as your repeater software is running on, if you're running the Simplex repeater software, you got to have it use the same sound card that your repeater software is using so that it can play it over the repeater. If you change this to a different sound card and your repeater software is on a different sound card, then this is not going to play over the repeater. It's got to be the same sound card. So leave it to where it says let Windows choose your sound card. Unless you know what you're doing and you know what sound card you have to select to have it play on your repeater, do not change this setting unless like I said you know exactly what sound card and if I kind of go down here you can see I have choices here but I'm gonna let it choose my sound card because I want to play over my repeater that I have now so we hit OK this is where the weather's at and I'm not gonna get into details with that but I am gonna show you under file under my units you can select Fahrenheit um, you can change that so that's where you do that at also, anytime you do any changes, make sure you save the configuration. Okay. Now, you can select how you want it to say the time. Do you want it to say the date and month first? Do you want it to say the month and date? Do you want it to say time is um, or just time? And you can hit play and you can have it play the message to see what it sounds like. Here's where you can adjust it for how many times you want it to play. Do you want it to play every five Thursday, minutes? Thursday, 16 February, I don't know if you can hear that. It's playing it right now, but you may not be able to hear that. Three, it's playing in my, in my headphones PM. right now. But you can do five minutes or you can do up to 60 minutes. So every 60 minutes is going to play the time. Okay? So that's all pretty much about 
as simple as you can get it. Now, yes, you can incorporate this along with the repeater software, and I'll show you what I mean. And I'm not going to get in a lot of depth with that, but I'll, I'll call up the repeater software. And you can set this for another beacon. If you go under Configurations, Secondary Beacon, you can select here, WD Player, that's what this is, and you can tell it how many times you can activate it, and you can have it call it up. Now, I haven't played with trying to combine the two. I, I tried to play it a little bit earlier, and I found it easier just to run it as a standalone as the help file. If you go to the help, if you click right here, it'll go to the help file of the repeater software that will explain more about these settings in here. I found it easier just to leave it to be a run it, have it running separately as a standalone and have it play the time. But you can incorporate this or you can have it play a wave file, which I did try to do that and I didn't like the wave file because of the quality of the sound wasn't as good. And I had to install my recorder and I had to, it was kind of a, I don't know, maybe I did it wrong, but I didn't like the wave file. I like it this way, it's more cleaner and less programs to run. But like I said, I didn't play that in depth. But you don't, you can, you don't need the repeater software to make this work if you want to do it as standalone, and you can just have it run just like that. I have it set to play every 60 minutes. I can adjust the volume here. Um, like I said, here's the weather. I'm not going to get into details with that, but there's a weather weather setting in here too. So I may do a separate video on that after I play with it a little bit more. But uh, that's it. You just run it. You know, the the key thing is make sure you have. Again, I'm going to repeat this one more time. Under sound, you got, you know, make sure if, let's, let me show you here a real good example. Let's say you're running this software. You're having all this on one computer, okay? And you go to configuration and you go to sound here. See how it says let Windows choose my, now if I was to select the sound here, which I can do, I just got to make sure the playback and I can do it here. I just gotta make sure whatever it says here, if I have it set to choose my own sound, whatever it says here, I gotta have it match over here. Well, for playback, obviously. Because if I have this set to playback here, and I and I go over here and I have this set to playback, that ain't gonna work. You see what I'm saying? That's not going to work because I have it headphones here, speaker here. You, your, your peer is not going to he, hear it. you got to have it be the same. Or better yet, let Windows choose my own. But that's what I'm talking about. you got to have it say either speaker. If you have it so that you select your own, you got to make sure it matches the playback. This playback here matches what it says here. If you don't do that and you just have it be let Windows choose my sound card, then you don't have to worry about that, okay? So I just want you to be aware of what that's what I mean where make sure it's the same sound card as your repeater software is set to. So I just want to make sure you're aware of that. So other than that, this is real simple. This is going to give you time announcement. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below and please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.